recognize that when you're doing that in the community, okay? Because we do that to people. We shut Our community is immensely privileged when it comes to encounters with the police. And before anyone says anything about privilege, I just want to say that privilege in our community is the reason why we were able to contact the police and city council before this protest without fear of repercussions. Privilege, because even before... Look, you guys, I'm just going to be honest. Most of us are here because of what we saw on TV. And I got to say, it is an unfortunate situation that it takes that level of violence for us Saratogans to get our lazy asses off our couch and to show up somewhere. And realize we are part of the problem. I know we have our lives and we worry about whether we're going to get into Harvard and why our son was rejected from UC Berkeley. But the reality is only a tenth of a percent of the Bay Area even gets to live like that. What about the rest of the nation? What about our brethren? I just got to say, as we walk down the street and we see somebody who has fallen, stumbled, they're laying on the ground, we have a choice. Do we step over them? Do we say, I wasn't the one who tripped them? I'm not a racist. I'm not the one who tripped them. It's not my fault. And do we walk on? Or do we kneel? No, not on his throat. F you. That really pisses me off. We kneel beside him. We open our hands. We open our heart. It is our mission as human beings to elevate every human being to the same level of greatness. We owe it to the black community. We owe it. I want you to think how long 8 minutes and 46 seconds is. And I want you to commit the rest of your life to making sure that there are no more 8 minutes and 46 seconds. And with that... Juniors, I have a dream speech. The one where he talks about his dream of a colorblind America. I'm sure most of you have heard, if not parts of it, then the whole thing. But it took me several years before I, I learned of another one of his speeches that I'd actually like us to reflect on today, called The Other America, one which they conveniently exclude from your history textbooks as well as many of these perfunctory February celebrations. I want you all to put your hands up because you now know a Saratoga resident who is black. <laughs> Myself and my family are part of the, I don't know what it is, Howard may be able to tell you, 0.2% of African Americans that live in Saratoga. That being an artist or a poet, especially a poet of color, especially here in Silicon Valley, is a labor of love because there sure isn't money in it. Thank you for everyone for coming out here today. It is really inspiring to see such a great turnout. If this is your first rally, I hope you feel moved about being around people who, like you, are passionate about helping to make changes in our country that are long overdue. Today's activism is great, but it does not stop here. This is only the beginning.